I like to rant. Like, I'll start talking about one thing and next thing I know I'm like in China, so. Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It is January 18th and I got good news for you guys. It's been one week of consistently following some type of macros even though last week I wasn't able to hit my macros on the dot every single day. This week I have so far and my digestion has improved immensely. I haven't had to completely cut out things like PB&Js or pot food cereal like I'm still having that like two times a day because honestly I just truthfully enjoy having that but um, aside from that I've also been having a lot of like sweet potatoes, spaghetti squash, a lot a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit, pineapple um, and it's just made a huge difference. So I'm super excited about that as you guys saw I added some coconut oil to my coffee this morning and it smells so freaking good. Something else I've been having as well for fats because I usually struggle to get my fats in and by the end of the night I'm having like three or four tablespoons of peanut butter so I'm like yeah, I need to stop doing that so I've been adding more holy guacamole um coconut oil ghee ghee and um olive oil into my diet as well so that being said today I'm going to take you guys through a full day of eating on my previous videos you guys have asked me to kind of show everything individually and talk about what I'm using and how I'm cooking it and like how much I'm having of everything so today I'm going to do that so I don't want to get talking too much because my videos tend to get very very long because I like to rant like I'll start talking about one thing and next thing I know I'm like in China so I don't want to talk too much and get sidetracked um, I'm just gonna simply show you guys what I'm having today so I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get the day started all right so getting up from the computer to make my first meal I don't know what it is about full day of eating videos but I always just feel the need to get kind of like fancy and try new things and sometimes they don't work out but you know what at least we can laugh at it and learn from it so that being said I am trying something new today obviously the five grams of coconut oil that I put in my coffee is going to be accounted for in my macros because that's like five grams of fat like one gram of coconut oil has one gram of fat so fun fact for you guys for every gram of coconut oil you have you get one gram of fat that's part of my macros for the day and now we're going to get into my first meal so let's do it so we're going to preheat this up at 400 Using some mushrooms, some liquid egg whites, one whole egg, and some bell peppers. this with some cooking oil so I got some extra virgin olive oil cooking spray and we're gonna be throwing the veggies in there hundred and eleven I'm gonna say hundred and ten grams of bell peppers you guys might actually not know this but bell peppers do have different macronutrients depending on their color so depending on how ripe they are they usually are higher in carbs so if you want to be super specific you can track them separately I'm gonna go ahead and just track it all as red peppers because red peppers are the ones that are higher in carbs so that way I'm kind of like overestimating also throwing some mushrooms in there so we have 40 grams of mushrooms and make sure that it's all laying flat in there. Now we're going to go ahead and add some liquid egg whites. 150 grams of liquid egg whites. One whole egg. Try to get that in the middle. Yes. I'm going to add some basil, a little bit of pepper, some salt. We're gonna throw this in the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes and see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna throw all of this into a Ziploc bag, that way I have it ready in the fridge whenever I wanna eat vegetables and I don't have to chop them up because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes chopping veggies stops me from eating veggies, so. So, it's looking pretty ready, but the yolk is looking 
very runny and I don't want the yolk to be runny so if you want it to be runny you can take it out at around 15 minutes in. I don't want my yolk to be runny so I'm just going to turn it down a little bit that way everything around it doesn't burn or get too like overcooked. Um, I'll do it to 350 and let it cook at 350 for the rest of the five minutes and hope that's enough to cook the yolk. Almost ready so we're going to throw some bread in the toaster and then eat. I'm going to do two slices of this Weight Watchers bread right here. It has 0.5 fat, 10 carb, and 2 grams of protein for 21 grams. Stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. do basil but I don't have any so we're gonna do thyme I literally have like 12 minutes to eat this so I'm gonna make this real quick this first try and then I'm gonna inhale this because I got to go I gotta get my blood work done and I am kind of low-key scared this looks pretty freaking good I'm pretty proud of myself yo come to mama Mmm, it's good. That's what I'm trying to say. Then post breakfast feels. Now I have like one minute to get ready to go to this blood work appointment, so I will catch you guys later. You guys, not only did I make it on time, I made it on time with my paperwork and took the needles like a champ. <laughs> I hadn't gotten blood work done in a little while, so I was a little bit nervous when I got there, I'm not gonna lie, but it went by super quick. They took like three or four samples and um, they're testing for like any kind of allergies, like gluten intolerance and um, just to see like how I am in terms of like hormones and all that to see if I'm healthy and everything is fine. Fingers crossed, let's hope that everything is okay. I couple things that I just picked up at the store on my way home. I found these original salad toppers and it's just basically seeds. There's um, dry roasted sunflower seeds, dry roasted pumpkin seeds, cashews, dried cranberries, soybeans, whole wheat, um, sugar, sea salt, sunflower oil, and that's about it. And it has 11 fat, 9 carb, 2 fiber, 5 protein for a 28 gram serving. There's 150 calories per serving. And then I also found some purple yams which I'm super excited about because it's been like two years since I've had purple yams. So I think I'm gonna be making them today how I wanna make them. I'm not 100% sure, but obviously I'll make sure to share it with you guys. So we got some purple yams. So beautiful, of course. That's the main reason why I walked into the store and then I saw all this stuff and I was like, might as well get it. It's almost time to eat again. I'll see what I'm gonna do with these purple yams. Maybe have these for the next meal, I don't know. And I wanna have something quick, so we'll see. So the good news is that I found so many recipes. The bad news is that we're not gonna be trying it quite yet because it's 1.43 p.m. so I do wanna get a meal in so I can sit down and start getting some work done. Um, I'm just gonna keep this one super simple, super quick because I just wanna grab a bite to eat quickly. So I'm gonna put that together right now, show you guys exactly what we're having and we, like, I'm the one eating it. I would, I would never share with you guys, like, no offense. I love y'all, but I don't share my food. So we're gonna be needing some um, chicken, some wheat potato, holy guac, and some shredded lettuce. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, I thought I was out. I need to go buy some more of this. So unless you're new around here, you might have already seen this on my vlogs before. It's a simple salad. You guys know I'm a sucker for salads, especially with like shredded lettuce because it just gives you so much volume, but not when you don't have very much left. That's okay. That's 60 grams of shredded lettuce. We're gonna do 75 grams of sweet potato. 80 grams. We're gonna do some holy guac. 25 grams of this. Actually, let's just do 30. And two ounces of chicken. And some Parmesan herb seasoning. Some ketchup. This is like almost mandatory. And I do use reduced sugar ketchup. There's one gram of carb in one serving. Normally, I track it during prep, but I haven't been tracking it since I got into my off season because it's just not that serious. All right, so a little bit of salt in here. 
And I'm also having a serving of crispy minis, and these have 14 carb, 2.5 fat, 3.5 fat, 14 carb, one protein for a 20 gram serving, so I'm gonna be having one serving. Mashing everything together is literally major heat when it comes to this salad food mixture. It's so good. It is about 4.30. It's not about, it is 4.30 p.m. We're actually gonna be roasting the purple yams. It's a very easy way to cook them, and I'm sure you guys expected a pretty easy recipe from me, so we're gonna give that a try. Just throw them in the oven with some seasonings, some flavoring, and we'll see how it turns out. So I am gonna be cooking just one yam. I'm gonna go ahead and set the oven at 400, and then I'm gonna chop this up, add some olive oil to it, and we'll see what else. I'm gonna be using some of this Lighthouse Fresh Thyme, some Mrs. Dash Original Blend, some olive oil, salt, and some garlic. Got 150 grams of purple yams. So that's how much garlic I'm gonna be adding. You can add as much garlic as you want. If you like a strong flavor, add more. I feel like this will be just enough for the amount of yams that I'm having. Almost forgot, we're gonna be adding some mushrooms in there as well. Twenty-eight grams of mushrooms. I'm gonna do about five to ten grams of olive oil. Six grams looks just about right to me. And now we mix all that together. Throw some chicken in a bowl, microwave it, it's go time. One giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended. So that's 25 grams of holy guacamole, 150 grams of purple yam, 30 grams of mushrooms, and two ounces of chicken. Together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a Manolo recording. That right there is the reality of my food. That is how I like eating my food. I don't like eating things separately. It's a food party and everyone has to be like together, you know? Da -da -da. It's pretty on point. And on the side, I'm gonna have some pineapple because I'm craving something refreshing and sweet. So some frozen pineapple chunks should get rid of that craving. Got 85 grams of pineapple. Like you guys heard when I was having my last meal, I was craving something sweet and although the pineapple did the trick, I still want something sweet. So we're gonna make some protein ice cream and see what we top it with. So we're gonna do 150 grams of frozen strawberries and you're gonna wanna add some cold water. So that's about how much water you want in there. 30 grams of select protein. to throw that in the freezer while I figure out what I want to have for my toppings. Here's what we got for toppings. We got some blueberries, peanut butter, some um, whatever this is called, Godfather, flavor god, <laughs> chocolate donut seasoning, um, some unsweetened shredded coconut, and then some caramel chocolate chip crispy minis. Two grams of shredded coconut, which is right there. And then I'm going to crumble up one crispy mini in here. Up. Throw 30 grams of blueberries in here. Four 
full 9 grams of peanut butter, the randomest number ever, but that's what I used. <laughs> So for this last meal, I'm kind of throwing some stuff that I had left over together. I have some leftover spaghetti squash and also some Greek yogurt that I just want to get out of the fridge because there's like barely any left and it's just taking up space. So I'm going to throw that into a chicken salad, I guess, chicken, spaghetti squash, and holy guacamole. And then we're going to do some Greek yogurt on the side, just sweetened with some Splenda and cinnamon. And then I'll be having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some puffed wheat cereal and we'll call it a night. So right here we have 55 grams of leftover spaghetti squash. Thirty grams of holy whack. If I had some lettuce, I'd definitely be adding some lettuce into that because it needs like something else. Right now it's just like a mixture of leftovers and I'm gonna eat that, then I'll make the rest of my last meal. We got some plain fat-free Greek yogurt. There's 120 grams right there and this is the kind that I normally have. It is lactose-free and this is a 120 gram serving. I'm also going to go ahead and add some caramel artificial flavoring to the Greek yogurt just to give it some extra flavor. So we got about 2 grams of peanut butter in here because that's what I had left from my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And we got 10 grams of jam, 12 grams of peanut butter, and some bread. For the peanut butter, you guys have seen this on my vlog before but I've never actually talked about it. I use this Adam's peanut butter and it's the creamy version because it gives you more when it's crunchy. The chunks of peanuts will actually take up some volume and give you less peanut butter and the macros are normal macros 8 fat 3 carb and 3 protein for 16 grams and it is salted and I almost forgot that I'm supposed to be having 150 grams of cashew milk with my peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I like dipping my peanut butter and jelly sandwich in cashew milk So I'm using this frozen banana and strawberry mix for the toppings on my puffed wheat cereal. It has zero fat, 21 carb, three fiber, and one protein. And then for the puffed wheat cereals, I use the Compliments brand, which I believe you can only find at Sobeys or Safeway here in Canada. I have Splenda, 50 grams of banana, 60 grams of strawberries, 20 grams of puffed wheat cereal, and 150 grams of cashew milk. Seriously, frozen banana in your puff wheat cereal is the most amazing thing. Like, it just gets so creamy in there and just changes the game. Give it a try. All right, fam, it is time to see if I hit my numbers or not. Dun, 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 dun. Total of five meals and so we got 60 fat, 225 carb, 39 fiber, 130 protein so hit every single macro on the dot i just want to close up the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating i did what you guys asked for and tried to like explain everything and show exactly what i was using and how much of what i was eating because i don't normally do that so i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know down below if you enjoy the style of a full day of eating if you do also make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions for me, anything to tell me, any, I don't know, any cool stories. Do you have a cool story? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel and I will see you guys next time.